All right, Amanda, thank you very much. Spokane County Health Officer Dr. Bob Lutz says he is disappointed in school districts that have decided to go ahead and reopen school buildings this fall. In particular, he says he is concerned about the secondary aged students, meaning those in grades 6 through 12, specifically because of their ability to transmit COVID-19 to others. He also addressed comments from an incoming freshman in the Mead School District who said in-person learning is worth the risk. And I guess my question is, it's worth the risk to whom? It's worth the risk to your child. It's worth the risk to your family. It's worth the risk to the other children in the class, to the school, to the community. Now, when school buildings do reopen, Dr. Lutz says he fully expects to see coronavirus cases increase. He says outbreaks are very likely. An outbreak is considered two or more coronavirus cases in any one classroom. Washington State's OSPI, or Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction, released guidance now for schools that do have COVID-19 outbreaks or students who are exhibiting symptoms similar to those of the virus. So here now, let's take a look at some of those guidelines. Children Children with symptoms similar to COVID-19, like a cough or a fever or a sore throat, they should be excused from school under these current guidelines, and they'll be able to return to school after 10 days or 72 hours without a fever if they test negative for the coronavirus specifically. Also, there are two po if there are two positive cases within any one classroom, then that entire classroom should be quarantined for no less than 14 days. That is also under this current guideline. In schools of less than 10 classrooms, the OSPI says that the entire school should be quarantined then for 14 days. And in larger schools that have more than 10 classrooms, current guidance says everyone in the school should quarantine for 14 days if 10% of classrooms are impacted by one or more students with the virus.